So my name is Mary Beth Mulcahy, and I'm an investigator with the U.S. Chemical Safety Board. So working at the Chemical Safety Board, there is no typical day uh, and definitely no typical week. It varies and depends upon whether or not you're actually deployed to an incident, so at an accident scene, or whether you're working in the office. So when we start our investigations, there is typically an explosion of some sort or large release of a hazardous chemical. And we get the call and we might deploy within three hours or we might deploy a day later or sometimes even a longer um, delay in deploying. And once you get on site, you're doing whatever you can to help the investigation progress. So that can be interviewing witnesses, it can be collecting evidence, it can be tracking down experts to work with to help us do the analysis for our investigations. It can be shoveling dirt, I've done that on occasion. Uh, and then once we get back into the offices where a lot of the investigation is done actually inside of an office, analyzing documents, analyzing data, test results, and trying to put the pieces together to understand why uh, accident has happened. Chemical investigators at the CSB have a very large background. The skill sets vary. It, some people are very technical in nature and some people focus more on regulatory issues. Uh, it depends what background they come from and what role that they'll ultimately play in an investigation. The CSB hires investigators at a variety of different levels. So right now there's currently the Pathways program and that's geared more for people with one um, to a few years experience. So new grads or somebody who has just a few years experience outside of school. And that's a great way to get into the CSB. I don't know if we always know what path we're taking when we take on a job. I think I thought the CSB was going to be like the TV shows, CSI, and we'd come in and you know we'd have all these sophisticated tools to get the answers. And in reality, it's a much more methodical process. And what happens as you go through these investigations is you meet people and you meet family members, you attend funerals. And these things have it a way of affecting you and making you think about what you're doing because it's not... I mean, you're analyzing a chemical, but you're not analyzing the chemical for the data. You're analyzing the chemical for the family members who've lost people or the communities who've been affected. And then it goes all the way to when I attended the funeral for the emergency responders at West Texas with the ammonium nitrate explosion and watched President Obama speak about these people and listen to the stories from the families. And those are things that they just don't leave you when you walk away from a site. And they lead to very passionate conversations in the office because everybody wants to get it right I, and it's not about ego, it's about you want to get right because you feel a need to, to do service to these people who've been affected by these, these incidents that we investigate.